Howdy folks, this is Shane. We're here to check out the Kalen Power Pedal Power Supply. On the right, we have six isolated nine volt, 100 milliamp outputs to power the majority of the pedals out on the market. And on the left, we have four that are rated at a higher level. We have an 18 volt, 300 milliamp output, a 12 volt, 300 milliamp output, and two nine volt, 300 milliamp outputs as well. Another great feature of this unit is on the back, you can select the power input. So if you're in Australia or some of the Asian countries and maybe Europe as well, you can run it on 230 or 240 volts, depending where you live. You simply switch this red switch on the back down, takes it to 115. So yeah, it's a pretty sweet unit. You don't need any special tricks. If you buy one, you know it's gonna work. These are isolated outputs on this unit. So we're gonna make sure that it sounds clean and clear with the pedal plugged into the signal chain. A huge thanks to Kalen for sending this out. I absolutely appreciate it. This is gonna become my go-to pedal demo power supply from now on. It's an absolute brick. So a little unboxing video and then we'll see how it sounds. Let's go. All right, let's start by unboxing this thing. So on top, we've got some instructions. It's in English, which is cool. Some packaging. Another booklet here with their entire range of stuff, which is pretty cool as well. Shows you all their pedals, which I've tried most of these now. They're all pretty good. And there it is. There's the actual unit. It comes with a whole lot of cables as well. Let's take a look at all of these. The first impression of this is it's actually quite heavy. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be like a plastic material, but the casing is... It's actually like an aluminium or aluminum, depending on where you're from, or that sort of material anyway. So yeah, it feels extremely, extremely strong. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the build quality. Um, it's got these little rubber feet under here as well. And the thing is just built like an absolute tank. We get the power cable here as well. So we can plug this into the back. It goes to the wall. And then all of these ones here connect from here into your pedals. There's also one that's a reverse pin here, which is great too if you've got one of those power supplies that you know needs one of these ends. It's quite a little handy um, extra to have in the box. That's cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's enough of these for pretty much all of the outputs, as well as that one special cable as well. So far, this has exceeded my expectations in terms of build quality. It's built extremely well and it looks awesome. But looks aside, we have to make sure this thing sounds good as well. All right, let's kick this off. I'm gonna be playing my Little Crow Corvino SD electric guitar. It's got a mini humbucker at the neck and a Telecaster single coil bridge pickup into my Super Reverb amplifier on the vibrato channel and I've got the volume up at four. So if there's any noise, you should be able to hear it right now. It's dead quiet, which is what you want with a power supply. With some really bad power supplies, you'll hear noise even if the pedal's off. It's nasty. Let's go ahead and turn the pedal on. I've got the gain up quite a lot. All I can hear is the gain from the pedal nothing nasty, which is exactly what you need. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the pedal power or the demo, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again to Kalen for sending this out. If you wanna find out more about this power supply unit, you can check out all the links that'll be on screen and in the description as well. Thanks again for watching, catch you soon, see ya. Mm -hmm.